right, it's that time once again for another Winograss offense, May the 26th, 2022. Looks like we got a bunch of Maniacs up in the house. Not as many as we usually have, but it looks like TK has the raid lead for this one. Torture Killer from DJL, Davy Jones Locker. Don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe, and notification bell. We're going to go into the flag. I'm on my Warlock. Where can I port some people besides being mean to them and porting them under the steps, which I can't do because my character's too tall to get under the stairs? <laughs> Looks like they didn't even hardly come to the team fight, man. We're chasing down a few kills right here. We got rank one. That's all we can do is build catapults. I guess we're building catapults and playing cat and mouse right now. They are over at BT. It looks like they've capped it. By the time we got over to BT, they're already gone, man. Yeah, we've seen this strategy before. We're pushing all the way around the map. There's a few of them down here. Let's see if we can get a couple of these HKs, get some of this rank. We got rank one, so we need 10 kills to get rank two. You cannot get rank two for free, man. That's one thing Blizzard probably should change about the battleground too. After five minutes, you know, you get rank one. It should be after another five minutes, you automatically get rank two. That way it would at least have a chance to do something. You spawn into these matches like this and you backfill because everyone leaves after the first team fight. You're not going to have any rank you can't build. You have zero chance to actually pull it back or anything. They really need to do some major reworks on this map. They rework everything else. Why not PvP, right? Hey, we're pushing over here to East Spark now. We've kept West Spark. Saving our towers while we're down here as well. Uh, let's see if we can take out the Hunter maybe. Trying to use Soul Rot. I am still Night Fay on this particular tune here. Got him down. They're going to respawn. We're capping East Spark. Did he get capped? Rank 2 is finally here. Next up, we got to finish all of them down south. The way they respawn in their base or at the northeast part of the map. This way, they don't have to come back down here and take them all back so fast and get easy access to our towers. Trying to save our tower. They got a catapult over here on east. Catapults will take forever to actually take the tower down. So you got more than enough time to respond if they're just bringing catapults. The seed's down. Let's go ahead and take out the seed. Finish it before it comes back up. <laughs> Otherwise, he's going to respawn with full health. There he goes. Now we're pushing into the sunken ring. This is where we started the initial team fight. They have control of it right now. Looks like we did lose West Spark, so they had some stealth over there that were ready to just easily take it back after we left. You kind of have to keep at least one or two targets over at the workshops until you can get your max build, and then you can start pressing the walls. We have a team that's coming from BT over there. Looks like on the west side of the base. We're still trying to push into this flag at SR. I'm getting hit up pretty good. I got a killing blow, but I'm about to go down here too. I'm night fan away. Yeah. I can't use the health stone. It's on cooldown. <laughs> I can't get it close enough to anything to do life drain. Oh, there's a catapult right there. I probably should have did on that one, but too little too late. Now I'm back over here to see if we can help clear West Spark to get these build slots back. We did not push into SR, so we couldn't get in that way. Hopefully we got a big team that's mounting up over at BT and it's going to start taking out that west wall. Mage is down here, blinks towards us. I'm going to build. Let's go ahead and build. Get another health bar. Now I'm pushing towards the base. Going to take out their tower. Unfortunately the warlock doesn't have as great a range as the hunter so I can't be sitting down here and take out the cannons. I can do some damage here but you can see it's going to take a lot of hits doing it this way. The mage knows that his vehicle was going to go down in the tower cannon and jumps out of it because obviously he's going to try and take out my demo that's killing it but it's too late i got that one down that's at least one cannon that's not going to be able to do us any damage uh we got some people that are still pushing sr and west spark a lot of us are guarding towers too we stopped their attack on west tower we stopped it on east we stopped it on south so just keep it going man we have been in the match for a whole 13 minutes yet, and we've only gotten their wall to 68%. We definitely need to build and make a mass push to the walls. Get this mage out of here. Send him back to the graveyard. Beast. Uh, he's going to go down. He had his shield proc. He's going to try and get away. Blinks. He's dead. There is a demo that took some fall damage. We should be able to take it out, though. Chaos Bolt. It goes down pretty quick with a few hits. There it is. Druid is inside. We're doing some damage to the west wall now. It's almost at the halfway mark. 
Let's get that 50%. There it is. Capping is showing up. Whatever capping says the wall has been damaged, it's hit the 50% mark. We got some people up top there. Most of the cannons, I think, are down, especially on this side of the base. Sometimes they'll get in cannons on the other side of the map and just try to shoot into their base and or hit the door that you're attacking. Because the demos are so close to the wall on the outside, the splash damage from their cannons will do damage through the wall onto your vehicles. Now they actually started building over there in the northwest side of their base and brought the demo out. Let's get it out of here. It's the same mage back again. Got a healing pally over here too that drops. Then Death Knight. Death Knight teleports back in, though. He didn't want any part of death. We got one wall down. Let's go. We are in the first part of the courtyard here. We still have a lot of time on the clock. We did lose West Tower, though. By them having West Spark, that allowed them easy access to take out West Tower. Got to make sure we can get more teams down south and start capping more workshops. Because it's going to be a very uphill battle with only 7 out of 8 or 8 out of 8 vehicles here. They have 14 built right now. They can build two more. We got two cannons to worry about. Get these cannons out of here, man. They're destroying our attack. They're destroying us. Man. There's another one over there. Warlock gets inside of it, but it drops just as he entered. Now we got to clean the courtyard out. Bye bye Hunter, right? Get him down. A couple more hits. Emulation. Finish off the Warrior. Looks like the Druid's down. We got some lock action. And we have another vehicle coming in. Some of these vehicles, man, you might have to sit back for a minute. When they got this many attackers up on the wall, it's probably not a good idea to just bring all the vehicles right to the wall. Right where they're dropping their blizzards and AoEs and everything. You kind of want to sit back and just do some damage from afar. And we can kind of like see where they're shooting their rockets from too. Because you'll see a lot of people in stealth. They will be using the RPGGs while stealth. And they actually don't break stealth until the RPGG hits its target. So sometimes, man, you got to take a little bit of time to figure out where they are. If you're not a demon hunter, of course. We got the inner south wall halfway now, though. We are chugging right along. We only have eight vehicles still. We're holding East Spark there on the skin of our teeth, it looks like. And BT. We have more and more vehicles coming in. We got the inner courtyard almost clear. Get that hunter down over there. Just hold him right here at this spot. Don't let him come back into the courtyard. They have a catapult. Finish that cata. Don't let him get up there with that fire, man, because fire really destroys everything, including vehicles. There's a hunter back here taking down our vehicles. Inner south wall is about down. A couple more hits. There it is. Now let's get in here and let's take out the main entrance. They have taken out the south tower now. That's why there's a lot more pressure on East Spark. They came from West Spark, took out the tower, and pushed East Spark. East Tower is still 87%. We got the main entrance down at 75%. Man, we got to clean them out of here. Get them out of here. Bye-bye, Mage. Demon Hunter. Oh, our vehicles are dead. Shoo. Finish wiping them in any case. Hopefully, we can get some more vehicles in there. Driving their vehicles from... The east side of their base all the way around now. If we have enough people on that side over there, hopefully they can do enough damage and take them out before they can get into the courtyard here. We don't have any damage going out to the main entrance, and East Tower is dropping. Oh, no. The East Tower is going to go down. That's going to take the clock down to a minute 15. Eight minutes drop off the clock each tower that goes down. We have some people heading over to East Tower to try and stop them. We have more vehicles that are rushing over here to the base. Are we going to make it in time? That is the question. Here is a mage that's trying to start. They're trying to take out our siege engine that's doing the only damage we got on the wall right now. Ice blocks. Um, wait for the block. Finish them. Fear, whatever you can do. Come on. Start wrecking the gate. Someone get in the siege and use that gunner too. <laughs> we need every piece of damage we can get. Kill this druid. Get him down. Here comes a demo. Hurry up. Looks like East Tower is at 13%, 12%. It's going down just as fast as the main entrance. It's close, man. 13 seconds to go if the tower drops. East is still at 6%. Nice. We got it, man. May all of your random battlegrounds be epic. A thousand battles, a thousand victories. Until next time, GG for the Horde.